Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching what's new in VMware certification as of January 2013. We'll start this lesson off about VMware certification by talking about the VMware certification pyramid. Now the certification pyramid isn't something that you'll find on VMware's website. This is actually a format that I came up with. On the bottom we've got the VMware Certified Professional or the VCP. This is the granddaddy of VMware certifications. The first VMware certification that they ever offered. The most popular VMware certification and the one that most VMware admins have by far in the industry today. Now once you have your VMware Certified Professional you can move up the pyramid to the next tier of certification called the VMware Certified Advanced Professional or the VCAP. And then from there you could shoot for the very top of the pyramid which is the VCDX or the VMware Certified Design Expert. Each one of these certifications requires the certification below it. And initially there was just one form of each one of these certifications that was based around VMware vSphere. Today VMware has really branched out and there's multiple forms of each one of these different certifications. For example, there's a VMware Certified Professional on cloud computing, specifically VMware's vCloud. From there, you can move up to the vCAP covering cloud infrastructure, and then finally, the vCDX covering cloud infrastructure. So no longer do you just have the VCP on vSphere, and the vCAP on vSphere, and the vCDX on vSphere. You have multiple forms of each one of these different certifications. For example, the vCAP on cloud computing, specifically VMware vCloud, the vCAP on desktop virtualization or end user computing, the vCAP on vSphere design, and the vCAP on vSphere administration. There's multiple forms of each certification, and in just a second I'll be covering each one of them. But first, I believe that if you're going to pursue a certification, you should also get to know the people who achieve those certifications before you. What about the very first VMware Certified Design Expert, or VCDX, number one? What is his name? Do you know? You can do a little bit of research on the internet and find out. You can quickly go and search this on your favorite search engine. You'll find out that he has a number of books that he's published on cloud computing. He's one of the authors of the VMware vCloud Architecture Toolkit, or the vCAT. He speaks at VMworld, and he's also the guitarist in the VMware House Band, which is called Elastic Sky. And did you know that one of VMware's core products, VMware ESX, the ESX actually stands for Elastic Sky X. So this person, Mr. John Ayersheet, is a super nice guy, and in fact, you see me on the screen there, I was interviewing him in Copenhagen, Denmark at VMworld Europe in 2010, I believe it was. I'm sure you'll see him speaking at VMworld. I encourage you to go up and introduce yourself. He is the very first VCDX. He's also one of the panelists. If you go and you go to pursue your VCDX, he may be one of the people who's determining the merit of your defense presentation. So it would be smart to get to know him if you're interested in one day pursuing the VCDX certification. Again, Mr. John Arashid from VMware. Now let's move on and talk about how the VMware Certified Professional, or the VCP, has changed recently. These are important updates that you need to know about. The traditional VCP, when someone says, are you certified in VMware? You say, oh yeah, I have my VCP. That's how it's been for many years now. That VCP has now changed. No longer can you just say that you have a VCP. You need to be a little bit more specific because the traditional VCP that covers VMware vSphere has now been renamed to the VCP on Data Center Virtualization. So it's actually the VCP DV. So there's three different types of VCP now. There's the VCP DV on Data Center Virtualization, which is really VMware vSphere, ESXi, vCenter. There's the VCP on Cloud, which covers vCloud design and administration. Then there's the VCP on desktop virtualization, specifically desktop design. Now it is important to point out, in order to achieve a VCP Cloud or a VCP DT, you first need to achieve a VCP DV, or data center virtualization. So really, if you're going through any of these certification paths, that VCP DV is the single goal that you must first achieve. It's really the bottleneck for all the certifications. You must first have that VCP on data center virtualization in order to get these other VCPs, in order to get a VCAP, 
And then, of course, you need the VCAP in order to achieve the VCDX. So keep that in mind. The VCP is now the VCP DV, and there's multiple forms of VMware Certified Professional certifications. And if you want to become a VMware Certified Professional, perhaps one of the things you should know is who was the very first VMware Certified Professional ever? VCP number one. Of course, that question won't be on the exam. The exam will ask you about VMware vSphere and vCenter and ESXi. But you should know, perhaps, who came before you. Who was the first person? And in this case, that person is pictured with me here. VCP number one. She's super nice. She works for VMware. And I was honored to have my picture taken with her at VMworld 2012. Her name is Susan Gudenkoff. And if you look over on Twitter, you'll find out that you can follow her. She's super nice. She's just got a thousand followers. And uh, maybe a lot of people just don't know that she was the very first VMware certified professional ever. In fact, Train Signal did a video interview of her, and we posted that on our blog site to find out her story and what it was like to become the first VMware certified professional. Now, besides the VMware Certified Professional that's been around for many years, recently VMware has added a number of new certifications, which I've alluded to already in this lesson. Those certifications are listed here. Notice if we start at the left-hand side of the screen on the bottom where it says professional, then advanced professional on top of that, and then expert. And you see the arrow there that says progression. So just like my VMware certification pyramid, you would be progressing up this stack from the professional level to the advanced professional to the expert level. So if we move to the right-hand side over on the bottom where it says VCP on data center virtualization, this is the VCP certification that everyone must start with with. You would start with the VCP DV, which is your traditional VCP, and then you could go up the data center virtualization stack there to the VCAP DCA, the DCD, or you could move to the left and go to, let's say, the VCP cloud or to the VCP on desktop administration. Another thing to note is the color coding. So the green releases have been available for some time or they're available today. The new releases are in orange, which is the VCP cloud in this case. And then there's other certifications coming soon that VMware has officially announced, and they may or may not be available at this time. You should go check the VMware certification website to find out. Of course, something else that this diagram also points out is how heavily VMware is moving into cloud certification. We've had the data center virtualization certifications around for a long time, which of course cover VMware vSphere, vCenter, and ESXi. But VMware has this whole new track that even has more certifications than the data center virtualization track called cloud computing. So you've got the cloud infrastructure administration VCAP. You've got the cloud infrastructure design VCAP and the cloud governance VCAP along with the VCDX on cloud computing. Specifically, VMware's vCloud director and how to properly design and implement VMware vCloud private and public cloud infrastructures. Moving along, another track offered by VMware is called End User Computing, and much of this track is also new. So the VCP on Desktop Administration has been around for some time, but they've recently added VCAPs on Desktop Administration and Design, as well as an upcoming VCDX on Desktop Design and Administration. Additionally, if you're a developer or you're interested in learning and achieving developer certifications with the acquisition of Spring, VMware also offers Spring Professional Certifications, Web Application Developer, and Enterprise Integration Specialist Certifications underneath their Cloud Application Platform track. And before we end the lesson, I've got one more trivia question for you. We were talking about the VCDX certification. I asked you about VCDX number one. I asked you about VCP number one. Well, if you're interested in James Bond or you're a James Bond fan like me, you might want to know who is VCDX 007. If you haven't heard of him, you may have heard of his website or you may have seen his books. 
His name is Duncan Epping and co-authored with Frank Deniman, also of ECDX. They've written a number of books, but the most recent one is VMware vSphere 5 Clustering Technical Deep Dive. Duncan's website is yellow-bricks.com, where he posts some very fascinating and interesting articles about VMware's most advanced features. He works for VMware, and he's a true expert on DRS, high availability, vMotion, storage vMotion, and resource optimization within VMware vSphere. If you haven't heard of him, make sure you check out his blog and always look for his presentations at VMworld. And that brings us to the end of this lesson covering what's new in VMware certification. VMware has recently announced some excellent new certifications around cloud computing, desktop virtualization, and recently renamed their granddaddy of all certifications in virtualization, the VMware Certified Professional, to the VMware Certified Professional in Data Center Virtualization. Stay tuned to Trainsignal.com for the latest information around VMware certifications and how to best prepare and learn these exciting new topics and features. Thanks for watching.